mother. Mother. Sucker. Yeah. What is what you want, huh? Check the, check the, check the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, motherfucking microphone checker. Keep that grip tight like my Smith and Wesson. Ike with the mic, which nigga trying to turn up. Hit you with the hurtful fucking truth like Sojourner. Motherfucking microphone eater. Spitting hot shit, hit your dome with the heater. Wouldn't want to be a dish lyrical for eaters. Got dragon balls like my name was Vegeta. Motherfucking super duper swanking. Niggas still hating pigs, run them for the bacon. Take them to the slaughterhouse, say we bout to order out. Tell them we the badass motherfuckers that they heard about. Yes, I guess the word is out. We coming for the top dollar. Top rock baller, since I popped my collar. Niggas say they hit us, they ain't never shot nada. Me, I'd rather not snitch up on my own problems Cause I'm a microphone killer Especially when my head is gone off that liquor Especially educated, heavily medicated Give me that beat and I'll put you next to Dilla Flow sweeter than vanilla Tell these haters beat it, can't Jackson Thriller I'm the nigga that you see when you in the mirror Say my name five times, this what I deliver This some motherfucking nuke that I'm dropping The world in my pocket, puke you out your continent Always drop hot shit to roar the flow, keep constant And I won't stop till I reach Christ conscious Nigga, 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 nigga. Truth Unveiled here, keeping you updated with the world around you and letting you know once again what time it really is because mainstream media is even telling you what time it is. Now, I've already gone over this, but I would like to reiterate this once again and tell you all of the cryptic messaging that's going on here. But I'm here at RT News, which is a mainstream media source, and it says, as you can see, air show and bizarre performance open longest tunnel in Swiss Alps. And it says, a spectacular air show will mark the big opening of the world's record-breaking rail tunnel in Erstfeld, running for 57 kilometers through the Swiss Alps. The ceremony continued with a freakish show where some of the half-naked performers dressed as goats, and we're going to go over this in a second, allegedly tried to express the hellish work through the mountain or the fact that, and it says in quotes, the gates of hell are now officially open. Why would this mainstream 
media source even say that? What do they know that you don't possibly know? And even secularists and atheists are seeing what is going on and that things are really looking bad and looking for a turn to the worst. But the question is, are you seeing it? Are both of your eyes open seeing what time it really is? What's going on? Because so much is happening and my hope is that you are seeing everything from top to bottom. Is it a surprise that that's all we've been seeing in mainstream media talking about gates of hell and the gates of hell opening and the portals of hell? Even the Wall Street Journal talks about it. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to take you to the article in just a second. But before I do, I want to take you through some more of the cryptic messaging that has been going on behind this one ceremony and why this is so vital for you to see. And yes, you should be concerned and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm here at VC and it says, the ceremony began with workers dressed in orange walking slowly to the beat of a rhythmic military drum, as you can see right here. And if we keep going, the scene represents the workers being sent to work on the tunnel. There is something very new world order to this militaristic portrayal of the working dance force. And it can also even represent what zombies and the zombie apocalypse lips too. As the drums get more rhythmic, the, word, the workers get more excited, dancing around and jumping through loops. Then things get stranger, don't they? A train brings a group of young people dressed in white underwear. And of course, you can see that right here. Very strange and interesting and suspicious indeed, I know. But let's keep going. You can see right here, what are they doing? For some reason, the ceremony becomes strangely sexual as the white-clad people start groping each other. What is going on? After portraying the workers the zombie soldiers the ceremony portrays the general population as a bunch of lascivious people who appear to be extremely suggestible. Then emerging from that train is a demonic fallen angel, a baby face Lucifer. Did you see that? And we're going to go over more of this and how this relates to the CERN Shiva dance as well. This scene is meant to honor the workers who died during the construction of the tunnel. But then why is baby Lucifer creepily flying above them from this point on the event turns into an all out what satanic ceremony and that's exactly what it is do you see the goats the baphomet goat which we're going to go over that later on too do you see all of them dancing around the goat dancing around the baphomet by the way why do you think there's a baphomet statue in detroit which i'm going to show you and take you to in just a second do you think that's a coincidence i think not not even two months ago the wall street Street Journal releases this headline which says CERN is seeking secrets of the universe or maybe opening the portals of hell. Operators of Large Hadron Collider gear up to battle conspiracy theories. Do you see what they're doing? And of course they love using that word. Oh conspiracy theory. Oh conspiracy theory. Which by the way is also played on the Illuminati cards which I've gone over too. But basically this article was talking about and this came out back in April how CERN is red up its technology and its forces. What do you think they're trying to access? What do you think they're trying to do? Why is this so important? And how does this relate to the festival that you just saw? Because what, mentioning portals of hell? Didn't RT just mention por portals of hell too? And the gates of hell? Are you starting to see it? If you're still not, oh, you're going to see it after this. Now this I thought was an interesting headline. It comes from the Indian Express and is it a surprise or a coincidence that this headline would come and that this article would come out around the same day and time as this festival that was going on in Switzerland? Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. But it says, for the love of God, when Lord Shiva and Goddess Kali adorn matchboxes. And then it says it's exhibiting matchbox collection from the previous century which has printed pictures of Indian gods and goddesses. Now, it's interesting that they would make a mention of matchboxes at such a time as this, especially with both Kali and Shiva at a time like this, because what matchboxes reminds me of what? Lighting the torch, setting the world on fire, just like the wildfire we saw in Canada last month. Is it all starting to make sense? And we know that what? Sudden destruction as travail upon a woman with child. That is what they're getting ready for. A 
especially when I just did a video a couple of days ago that talked about how they're talking about peace and security once again between Israel and Palestine as well as the UN Peacekeepers Day, which was a couple of days ago. Do you see what time it is? Do you think that all of this is just a mere coincidence and that, oh, there's nothing to it, that they're just doing this for fun and no other reason? No, it's time to wake up and see the bigger agenda for what it really is. And my hope today is that you are seeing all of the cryptic messaging because I'm here at New Indian Express and around the same time that we saw the Matchbox reference and the same time that we see all of the Gates of Hell and the Portals of Hell reference with the ceremony in Switzerland, we also see this too, which says, Review Deadly Quest to Close the Gates of Hell. Is that a coincidence? Look at when it was published. They're around the exact same time. And this review reviews the book, which is called Yama's Lieutenant. Now, what's interesting about this book and about this book review is that it all talks about the theme of death and the theme of mysteries and the theme of gates of hell and closing them and opening them and portals and doors. Do you see what they're getting at? Not only that, but we also saw what? We keep seeing Shiva and Kali all over again. We already saw Kali plastered up on the Empire State Building as of August 10th, 2015, and we see the statue of Shiva at CERN. Is this concerning? By the way, Shiva is the Hindu deity for destruction. Now, now CERN likes to tell us that, oh, it was a gift from India, but was it really? And by the way, Yama, or what the book is titled, Yama's Lieutenant, which is the book review for this with this title, Yama is known as the deity of death, which plays on the theme of death, sudden destruction. Is that all a coincidence? Oh, it is far from it because like I said, this event corresponds with everything that we've been seeing and it correlates and it coincides with CERN and CERN technology and all of the cryptic messaging that we've been seeing with mainstream media sources talking about gates of hells and portals of hell and doorways and everything and plastering up Hindu deities all over the place that have to do with what destruction, sudden destruction, what time do you think it is, why do you think they They've been talking about peace and security all this time. Now, once again, I'm showing you pictures and snippets from the ceremony that took place in Switzerland. And as you can see, right in the center of the picture, you see the eyes and you see how they're uh, spiraling right there. So it reminds you what of hypnosis and the eye of horse. Of course, you see the goat right there and all of what the big rituals. You see the horns all around it, reminding you of Sir Nuno's, the horns. I'm telling you, that is what they're getting ready for. That is the big ceremony. Very reminiscent of the London Olympics back in 2012, which even featured a phoenix rising out of the ashes. I hope you're seeing what time it is. Now, what was also interesting about this particular ceremony is that four of Europe's prominent leaders were also in attendance, including the French president and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, what's interesting about them, too, is that they've been pushing what anti-immigration and the whole refugee crisis because they're bringing in these refugees in Europe. They, as in Soros and all these other Zionists, they're bringing and funding them in in order to start and wreak chaos and havoc in Europe and in order to make Europe social because through the European Union and they've been doing that for a long time now and then the French president constantly declaring states of emergencies in order to declare martial law because that is what they're getting ready for it's all a big test run and I hope you are seeing it and as I said earlier, we saw the goat and the horns at the ceremony too. We saw the goat running all around and what looked to be them worshiping the goat through the ceremony all over the place, which also shouldn't surprise us as we see Letha coming up, which is a pagan hell a day too. And we see all of these things happening and occurring at once. So it automatically brings back the Baphomet and everything else. What the sun god. But did you know that they've already put the goat in Detroit? Did you know that the Baphomet statue is in Detroit right now? The Baphomet statue, which is what the goat, did you know that? I hope so, because they're literally telling you what time it is. And this was placed there just last year, just like the Georgia Guidestones were placed in Georgia, which is the very first commandment, so to speak, is to what? Depopulating the plane to 500 million people. I'm not making that up, folks. 
folks. Go look it up. It's time you wake up and see just what time it is and where we are living and what sudden destruction is soon to come. Now, I thought this picture from the ceremony that happened with the world's longest tunnel opening was very interesting and suspicious indeed, not just for the GOAT reference and the Baphomet reference and the Cernunos reference, but also all of the people who are standing around, which all look like what Druids preparing for the Letha ceremonies and the summer solstice sun worship ceremonies to get ready for the sun god. But that automatically reminded me of this ceremony, which took place in Greece, which is the final lighting of the torch for the Olympic Games, which are to take place in Brazil soon to come within the next few months from now. But what they lit it to honor what Apollo, the sun god, and I'll even leave the link below so you can see what I'm talking about. But that is the whole purpose of this ritual that took place also back in April as well. Very interesting and suspicious indeed. It doesn't look like a coincidence to me. But out of all the pictures that are the most interesting, I'm telling you, this is the most interesting one. And we've already went over this, but I'm going to tell you how this relates to CERN and CERN technology, because what do you see? You see these dancers dancing around in a circle very mysteriously, and you see a winged creature coming up, rising out of the ashes, kind of like the London Olympic Games. Is it starting to make sense? Oh, but I've seen this formation someplace else, Beyonce for formation into the new world order where else have i seen this oh, yeah the shiva dance of destruction sudden destruction cern and the shiva dance the portals of hell opening different portals and doorways opening that is what that symbolizes that's what that dance means on a symbolic level and that is exactly what you see and the snippet here from the commercial actually which I will link the video below so that you can see it on your own time. But as you can see, they are dancing around this man in a circle, in a formation. That is what they are doing. And you see that on the actual video, which I will link below. Oh, but that's not all you see. Because in that same commercial, you see more dancing, more dancing of destruction, more Shiva dancing. You see a man walking around in a circle with a man in a center. I'm telling you, this is all very cryptic and it all goes hand in hand. It all relates and it all connects because the Illuminati and the elite are literally telling you subliminally what time it is. And they're literally telling you that destruction is even at the door. And I'm trying to be a witness and wake you up to this truth so that you see it, so that you will be ready to stand in that evil day. But you can look at this formation here that is also seen in the same CERN commercial of the Dance of Destruction. And you can see what looks to be a man walking around someone in the circle of ice performing a very Illuminati satanic ritual. Huh, where else have I seen that recently? Oh yeah, the Red Bull performance that was just a few weeks ago. And as you see, somebody's riding around the person standing in the middle of ice just like the CERN commercial. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. You can take a look at the pictures. You see how they're going around in a circle. What are they really doing? It is an Illuminati satanic ritual of what accessing portals and doorways, but it represents what sudden destruction. It represents CERN and the dance of destruction and the ritual of coming destruction, letting you know that they are ready for the beast to be unleashed, the beast known as Apollo, which was the whole ceremony for the Olympic torch lighting, lighting the torch in matchboxes once again. The Queen and the Pope have already told you that this is your final Christmas. Are you listening? Please seek Yahuwah and his true son, Yahusha, so you can be ready for what's to come. But this is Truth Unveiled here, keeping you updated, saying Shalom.
took her back to my place Feeling guilty, feeling scared Hidden cameras everywhere Stop! Hold on Stay in control I know you'll understand There's a time device inside of me I'm a self-destructive man There's a wreck under my bed And there's a little green man in my head And said you're not going crazy You're just a bit sad Cause there's a man in you
nigga relax and pack that. I'm a young lord, get it, I swear to ASAP. Like a Tupac spitter, them can I run with a Sony go shop filler. She can't bend my children. Tip top filling, I'm known to be a minute. Fly blue drop tinted. Rolling up my spinach and my news don't spin it. I love they end niggas by painting every picture. The ring, you gon' kiss it. The holy one did a side hand over they finish. Don't fuck, nigga, can't say that I ain't thinner. But I keep my chakras, no print for all my bidding. I'm my old master. The verdict, my decision. Zombie gang from the agile.